ओके स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल हव आर यू ऑल ग्रेट दिस इज खुशबू पटेल वेलकमिंग यू इन द सेशन ऑफ अ साइंस नाउ एज इन अ साइंस वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स टू द प्रैक्टिकल सेशन राइट सो यू विल नॉट सी मी ऑन द स्क्रीन बट यू विल लिसन टू माई वॉइस एंड द थिंग्स विच आई एम डूइंग ऑन माई स्क्रीन सो यू कैन प्रैक्टिस इट आउट इफ यू हैव अ डेस्कटॉप और अ लैपटॉप एट योर होम सो किड्स टूडे we are going to start with the second topic of lesson number 3 as we all know that in the last session what we have completed we have completed files and folders means we have started with the new lesson that was lesson number 3 managing files and folders in windows 10 now we all know that windows 10 is one operating system now last session we have also completed watching the files and folders that means not practically but in a theory portion we have understood the major difference of a files and folders now today we are moving ahead so before i start my session i hope you all are having your textbook so in your textbook please open this page here you can see that page number 6 26 right today's topic is file explorer now what is the meaning of a file explorer see it is defined over here windows 10 provides a useful program called file explorer that allow us to view create copy move rename delete and search for files and folders easily right now we know that we are using windows 10 it has a one feature called file explorer which allow these many tasks it allow us to see that which programs are open we can create the new file we can copy the folders and file we can also move file inside the folder we can rename it of course delete it and we can also search for it so there are various ways right still it is the practical session but here i want to show my screen so these is the file explorer now let me show you where the file explorer is present in the laptop or in a desktop that means in a computer now kids you can see my cursor yes here my cursor is going in the last bar this horizontal line is known as task bar right so here you can see this yellow color icon can you see that yes this icon is what this icon see if i'm keeping my cursor over it it is showing the name of that icon have you seen that see it again this is my program and this is c file explorer so i will click on it as in when i will click on it you will see that the one window will open on the title see these line is known as title bar so on the title it is written this pc that means in this pc that means in this laptop whatever the things are present right will be shown over here right so let's go to the textbook again but let me tell you one thing that where you have to open the file explorer again i'm sharing this see in the task bar this yellow icon is known as the file explorer you can open it easily by clicking on it and this window will open right now let's go to the textbook again the various ways in which we can open file explorer are as follows right there are so many ways in which we can open the file explorer the first one click on the file explorer button on the task bar right so here this is the task bar we have seen that this is what this is the file explorer this is the yellow color button 
if you will click the screen will open so this is the first way to open the file explorer right now what is the second way choose the file explorer option in the start menu right see in the start menu file explorer option there are so many programs over here so directly i will write in the search box file explorer see so if i will write file explorer here i can see that so if i will click on it again the screen will open right the same screen right so we have seen the two method to open the file explorer the first method is the button which is present on the taskbar and here in the start menu you can search for the file explorer right and if you will click on it the window will open describing the files present in your computer clear kids okay now see in the textbook again see the file explorer window with a number of components appears as shown in the figure 3.4 now you can see this this is the figure if you will compare this figure with the screen this screen is also similar right so one by one we will see the part the way i told you that this part where the title is written it is known as title bar but still see this is a one part this is also one another part this is also one another part so what all these parts are known as one by one we will see first from the figure right see here also it is written this pc after the title bar where you can see this all things menu and all the programs or you can say all the components that area is known as what ribbon see here this is the title now file computer and view properties open rename access media map network add a network location open settings uninstall or change a program system properties and manage that means this area is known as what this broad area you can see that my cursor is moving from top to bottom so this broad area is known as what it is known as ribbon right okay now after the ribbon where this pc is look written that area or that line or that bar is known as what navigation and address bar right navigation and address bar so this we have understood that this broad area is known as what it is known as ribbon this area a small box you can see right about all these things we will study in a detail but right now we have to understand the screen right so this pc where a small symbol of pc is written and this pc words are written letters are written right so this area is known as navigation and address bar clear next this vertical area right vertical area where you can see quick access view here this area you can see that right see quick access this area is what quick access means we can open any of the program easily very fast quickly right so that area is known as what it is known as quick access done next you can see folders uh, okay before we start that see here after the navigation bar last you can see a one box a very small box in which we can search any of the files and folders so that box is known as what search box see here this is the address bar where my cursor is moving 
and this area is returned search to this PC. So this box is known as what? Search box, right? You can see your a uh, symbol of a magnifying glass, right? That means searching. Okay, magnifying glass we use to search many things. So here the symbol is given like that. So this box is known as a search box. Done? Okay. Now moving to the empty area. This folders. Right? Folders which is appearing over there. Here if you will see title is given folders with the number. That means how many folders? Here it is written 7. If you will count, there are total 7 folders. But which these folders are? Frequently used folders. Right? That means the folders which we are using many a times. Right? Bahut zyada baat. So that is known as frequently used folder. There in your textbook it was given 6. But right now I am having how many? You can see the number over here. That is a 6. So total 6 folders are available. Clear? Okay. After the folders section, there is one more section. Which says devices and drives. Here it turned 4. So here it has a 4 drive. C drive, D drive, 1 E drive and 1 F drive. So what is that? It is recently used files. Right. So let's see in our window. I have how many drive? Right now one mobile is connected with the laptop. Right. And 3 more drives. 1, 2, 3 and 1 external. That means I can add a CD and DVD insert. We can insert it. Right, so total 5 drives. So this is drives and devices. One is a device that is mobile. Right, so I can show you practically. So I have attached it. So one device is attached and there are 4 drives. So total I have 5. Right, so this is recently used files. So this entire window is known as file explorer window. Is it clear? Again, I am repeating, the first line is a title bar. This broad area is known as a ribbon. This is navigation and address bar. This is quick access. This box is known as a search box. These folders are frequently used folders. And the other segment that is drives and devices. Means if you will attach a one pen drive, then also it will show here. Right? Now let me attach it. And it will start showing you. Right? See right now it is 5. Right? See? You can see here. The next drive is added. So now the number has also changed. So one device that is mobile and one is one pen drive. So total I have a 6. If I will remove it, you will see that the number will change. Right? So this is the area where we can see the recently used file. Clear? Okay. So this window is known as the file explorer window. Now we are going to see this components of the file explorer window in detail. That means what is navigation, how can we use it, what is ribbon, what is search box that we will study in a detail. Right, so let's go to that. Right, components of the file explorer window. The file explorer window has the following components. The first is ribbon. Which area is known as a ribbon area? This broad one, the bigger one. Right? So let's see what's it then. The ribbon of the file explorer window usually has four tabs. File, Home, Share and View. Now let's see that. See, I don't have a share option. Right? So I have three. File, Computer. Right? And view. Right? So, according to the system of your computer or a laptop or a desktop, here you can see different things. Right? View, 
फाइल्स ओके दैट वे यू कैन सी सो टोटल थ्री और फोर यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट वन इज अ फाइल देन होम देन शेयर एंड देन व्यू राइट ओके द वेरियस ऑप्शन प्रेजेंट ऑन दीज टैब्स अलाव अस टू क्रिएट न्यू फोल्डर्स कॉपी मूव पेस्ट रीनेम एंड डिलीट फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर्स नाउ वी कैन क्रिएट फोल्डर्स ओवर योर बट इन एनी ऑफ द ड्राइव इफ आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ फोल्डर आई कैन क्रिएट अ फोल्डर हाउ दैट वी विल सी बट येस इट अलाव अस टू क्रिएट द फोल्डर्स राइट now we have seen that in a ribbon right it has actually the four tabs right for that you need to open the drive you can see see here file home share and view right so you have to open any of the drive to see that ribbon or a tabs right okay so we can copy we can paste we can delete we can rename the folders that slowly steadily we will study in this chapter practically only right now next one as we have completed the ribbon we will go to the next what is next it is navigation and address bar using the navigation bar we can move to the previously opened folders using back button see this is the arrow now let me show you i have opened this drive e drive but where this buttons are present beside the address bar here you can see up here back right and here forward right we can go ahead and we can go back so this buttons are present okay back button that means we can go back this is forward button this is forward means we can go ahead and this is back button so that we can go back clear see the forward button can be used to move back to the current folder the forward button becomes active only when we have used the back button right now see here you will see that one button is very light in a color right and if i will do forward then only the back button will be highlighted that means we have to press one button at one time so the other button will become active right so that way we can do you can see here if i am pressing this then that button will become highlighted and here also i can press this and the other button will be highlighted right so this is what it is navigation and address bar let's go further we can also move to a particular folder by clicking on its name in the address bar right address bar that means this bar if i will say that standard 5 right i don't have it in this but in e drive i have that right so it will get open but it will take time right it will take time so whatever you want to search you can search it easily by just writing over here right you can write over here and you can search anything done okay Now the next one is search box. It help us search for files and folders in the current folder, right? See, this is the files, right, which I am creating for you all. So for fifth computer, right? I want to search PDF, right? So see, it will show that it is working and how many. pdf is there in that folder will shown here you can see there are total 5 pdf and a one folder if i will write video see these many videos are there so you can search easily by just typing over here in which box 
in a search box right so again we will go back here we will go to the main drive that is our main window file explorer window clear so we can search anything with the help of a search box and the last one this pc clicking on this option in the left section of the window display all the storage devices that means hard disk cd dvd and pen drive that we can access right now see this pc right we know that we have opened this pc only but here also right in the quick action in the quick action you can see this pc right so as and when you will click on it right it will open right now it is opened only over here okay and you can open any of the see ye quick access this pc right so this pc is open and you can go to any drive and open your file or folder even if you have attached the pen drive right the way i have attached last time now let me attach it so the pen drive will appear see you can see here usb means pen drive right so in that also you can search many things okay right fine so let's move ahead the space on the hard disk is divided into different sections drives and is usually denoted by letter c colon ye jo do dots hai usko hum colon bolenge c colon d colon and so on right whatever the hard disk is there right let me open the file explorer again whatever the space is there in our laptop it will be divided c drive how many total space 77.7 in d drive total 192 gb and in e drive total 195 gb right so that way it is divided that means the storage space is divided into different section into different drive right which can be written as see here it is c drive you can see here it is written d drive here it is written e drive right okay so that was about the components now you can see the screen of the this pc right wait let me show it to you it's also there in your textbook this is the pc window right this is ribbon navigation and address bar your the search box folders drives and devices and this is the pc this pc option right here you can see here this pc option okay so that was the file explorer i hope you have understood till here now kids with this i am taking your leave right now we are going to meet in the next session but you know only that whatever the things we have completed over here you will read it again from your textbook for query you will go through this video again and if you have a desktop or a laptop at your home you will practice it out is it clear so today i am taking your leave goodbye and stay safe